Hey guys, so it's me, Jupiter's Love, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a simple Animal Jam intro. Um, nothing like those crazy, shaky ones. I don't really like those ones, so if you don't and you want a more different and diverse intro, this is a video for you. Um, I'll just show you some things you can do. Don't make yours exactly like mine, but here's my intro. <laughs> I'll do I'll be teaching you guys how to make like simple animations um and stuff like that. I'm not gonna teach you guys how to exactly use do mine, but yeah. So the editor I use is Sony Vegas and first of all before you start editing, you want to get some pictures and graphics. Now I will not have you can have your animal dancing in your intro, but I don't like being limited to using one animal, so I just decided to pick my favorite plushie or animal. You could pick your favorite plushie or animal in the game, and my favorite animal in the game is a red panda. So search up Animal Jam Graphics, and this website should pop up. This is a really great web website. Website. It's called Animal Jam Graphics Central, and you have desktop backgrounds, currency graphics, and a lot of different things. And if you have like a an alpha you like or specific animal, we'll go with an alpha. So, something that's easy and simple. I don't know if we can do the alphas because they seem pretty complicated. Um, hmm. Not sure about Liza. If you like Mira, I'll actually go for a plushie. So, I found one that I like. It's this horse. And we're just going to right click it and save the image. And I will save it in my Animal Jam Pictures folder. And, um, yeah. And then there are also so many other choices. And there are phantoms if you want. You can animate those too. They're kind of, I don't know if I can animate these. Because, well, it just depends. You can add so many different things to your... Thing. And blank boards and signs are also nice. You can have them scroll down and you can put your username on whatever. So yeah, but I'm just not going to do that. It's all your choice, guys. But yeah, just download some graphics and stuff that you think you want in your intro. So now we are going to create a background. So if you want, you can always Google one, but I prefer making mine because they turn out in the good, best quality. So on Sony Vegas, I'm not sure. Um, it should be next to video FX. It should say media generators. So you can choose to do checkerboard or color gradient. I like to use color gradient, or you could just have one solid color. So we'll just do color gradient for now and you can just choose oops, oops. Ah. so you click this and choose the color so i'll make it a yellow and you can leave that white or have it just a lighter or darker there we go anyway i'll just leave it like that and you can also make a border i'm not going to do that for now so then you want to choose your music for your intro. So you don't want it any near 10 seconds. You want to keep it short. So. So I'll cut, leave it at that, so. Okay, so we'll cut the music right there and we'll fade it out so that it's not so, I don't know how to say it, but. There we go. And uh, your intro will be that long. So there we have the background and the song now. I'm just gonna make it so that. And every second you wanna save, so 
you can just hit control save on your keyboard and this will pop up and I'll just go with um, tutorial now we are going to create some more video tracks and I will show you how to animate the <coughs> the little picture we downloaded so the, where is it the horse did I save it here I don't know if I did. Anyway, I'm not really sure if I did get the horse. Anyway, I'm not going to bother to get it. I'll just use something I already have, but we'll just use this tiger plushie. And oh, it's pretty cute. And I like how it contrasts with the yellow. Anyway, right here, this is the invent pan crop button. You click it and you can move it around and change it. But a lot of problems that I see is people don't make it widescreen. You see how it cuts off on that screen like this. So we are going to go to this little tab or preset thing right here and change it to widescreen. It'll zoom in, but you can always zoom out. And now you can, oh, whoops, um, store widescreen these are on so it doesn't okay so there we go and now we are left with this tiger so we can put into the corner if we want like so and we are going to copy this and paste it down to this layer so the top layer will be of the head. What? Okay, wait. Okay, so now that that's all fixed, we are going to take this top layer and there's a button right here that says mask. So we are going to cut the little head off. And I know that sounds cruel, but anyway, I'm just gonna cut it off. And do it carefully. Oh wait, this part doesn't matter, but when it gets to the inside, do this part carefully. Okay, and then from there it doesn't matter, because this is all a PNG. Okay, so now we have the head, and then here on this layer we're going to go to the mask and just move it down a little bit and we are going to take the same we're going to do the same thing um except we're just going to go a little bit inwards okay and Yeah, just follow along with me, guys. I'm not very good at explaining myself. But, yeah, there we go. Now, what you can do is, before you start moving everything, you see this little dot right here? You're going to take this and move it to the center of the bottom of the head. Like so. That's like where the neck area is, so. So now when we rotate it, It'll look like the head's moving. <laughs> so, you could have it dance along to the music. Like so. Anyway, we'll work on, so when to, <laughs> sorry. To animate that, there's this little timeline down here. So, we're just gonna click this, sorry. And we are going to make it nod slowly to the music okay so that's good enough and we're going to take all of these you're going to select all that copy and we're just going to paste 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 and let's see how 
Okay, that's going too fast, so we'll just space them out a bit more. So yeah, this is how you basically animate. I don't really know how to describe it, guys, but it's pretty easy. These are called keyframes, and every time you rotate the figure or move it, it will automatically create one. I'm just gonna take this. I'm not gonna really make it look that good right now. So sorry, it's like the animation should be more steady like that. Like, it looks like a bubble head in the beginning. Anyway, yeah, so now the tiger is nodding its little head. That's not my best trick, but yeah. And if you want, you can uh, like make the tail move too if you want. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do simple two layers. And now we're gonna add another layer underneath and this is where the text will go. So let's say your username is, we'll just go with animal trip. So we'll add text. We'll just put user. and i'll just change it to whatever font i want you can change it to whatever font you guys like um where is it and we'll make it like this purple pink yeah that's kind of cute anyway um and i'll add an outline five is that okay I might add. We'll probably do less, so three. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty decent. And there we have the username. And if we go to event pan crop, we can adjust the size once again and rotate it. Oh, we're doing this in the. Okay, you always want to do this in the beginning. If you want it like that diagonal, then you can. I'm kind of lazy right now, but whatever. Anyway, there it is. Now, what you want to do if you want to animate it to make it sway back and forth like I did, we're going to put this little center point in the middle. And we're just going to move it forward a bit. And make it sway. A bit that way. And I'll just end it the other way. So. Oh, they're slaying the same. Anyway, um, yeah. And if we want to have the text transition in. So, we can have that transition in. So what I do is, what I did, if you want to know, is I cut that off and it's fading in and we go to transitions and we do linear wipe, I think. Oh no, not linear. Push, right? Push. And we do push left you can do it whatever way and now you can see so but what I do to make mine look more smooth instead of like that I go to video effects and I take the linear blur and I do horizontal light so you can see it looks like that And if you want the tiger to transition in, have 
to tutorial helped you guys and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about Sony Vegas about the program you can buy it it's pretty expensive though so yeah but that's how I made my intro thanks for watching guys bye